Okay, welcome back to the Dream Whisper of Jesus, everyone. This is part two of the prophetic dream about the little uh, child, uh, little girl drowning in the swimming pool. So I'll just continue from the last video. So the little child's wearing this uh, robe of a yellow color, which is a symbol of childlike faith, which is really good to have before God's throne. Um, the other interesting thing was when... Uh, we pulled the little child up out of the water. I wasn't sure at first whether it was a boy or girl, so I'll just do a really basic drawing. Um, it had like um, sort of short black hair, so this isn't a really good drawing, just excuse my drawing skills. But the, the, the hair was just, um, it was a sort of a reasonable length. Um, the sort of straight, sort of medium length back, black hair and I, I, at first I wasn't sure whether it was a boy or girl but in the dream God gave me discernment that it's actually a little girl and the, the interpretation is in prophetic dreams the length of hair can be a symbol of wisdom so this little girl had sort of um, medium length black hair so that's good but God is showing me that he actually wants the hair to grow longer. So, for example, excuse my drawing, you know, develop shoulder length hair, if you like, you know, come down here like that. So, so the little, God is showing me that the white South African nation, they have wisdom. It's a medium length, so that's pretty good. Like in some prophetic dreams, I see um, people who are completely bald, and that's God showing me that they, in the spiritual realm, they have no wisdom. But this little girl, she had a medium length hair, but she, she looked a little bit like a tomboy, if you want. So, so God wants to pray, people to pray for the white South African nation to have more wisdom. So, if we, and that, that's for both the individual and for whole nations. God wants us to be wise and have wisdom. So. For example, if we go to James, excuse me, I'll just look for James. I've lost my marker for James. Do, 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 do. Here we go. James. If any James chapter one verse five. If any of you is lacking in wisdom, ask God, who gives to all generously and ungrudgingly, and it will be given you. But ask in faith, never doubting, for the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea, driven and tossed by the wind. So, so every nation, every human being, every nation on earth needs to ask God for, for wisdom and more wisdom. So in the dream, God is showing me this South African nation, the white South African nation, they, they have a reasonable length of wisdom, but God really wants to push to the next level that you need more wisdom to to handle every situation and trial and life that you're facing okay the next thing i saw was when the little girl it was um you know a real disaster when we pulled her up out of the water her mouth was absolutely full of water i don't know how to draw it but you know if someone's drowning in real life they you pull them up and they cough up some water, you know, and it's okay after you know, a couple of minutes, they're, they're okay. But um, this little girl, when we pulled her up out of the water, I saw her mouth, it was absolutely full of water. And, and I knew in the dream she had been underwater for a long time, that whatever this invisible force that was pushing her down, it had kept her underwater for a long time. And when we pulled up, her up, I don't know how to draw it, but I, I just saw one tiny little air bubble, one little oxygen bubble come up out of her lungs. So she was really on the edge of, of dying in this spiritual realm. That it was like I could sense and knew that she had been underwater for a really long time. This was an absolute disaster. And when I woke up from the dream and prayed about this, um, the word father god gave me was spirit of neglect so when a, in a normal life situation when a little three-year-old child 
falls into the water, you know, everyone's at the pool and it's a disaster and everyone will be jumping in to, to, to get her out. But um, where's my pictures? This little three-year-old girl, she was in the same situation as this little orphan boy. When she fell into the water, so it can be like, you know, difficulties, trials in life, uh, no one rescued her. Her parents didn't care that she fell in the water. So for me, that um, suggests in the spiritual realm, her spiritual parents or the, or the government doesn't care if she falls into the water and drowns. And she said she'd been there a long time. So all the difficult circumstances in life, you know, a normal parent pulls you up and rescues you, but she was just left there, the spirit of neglect. So it's like a, in the spiritual realm, like a spiritual orphan once again. So we brought her up and then it was like, I knew that um, we need to do like CPR on her, but in the dream, I didn't know what to do. So God is showing me in the dream, this is a really situation, serious situation. I didn't know what to do, but I had this word, um, take her to the Holy Spirit Hospital. So I've never heard that phrase before. That's from God, Holy Spirit Hospital. So in the dream, I was putting her in the car, in my car, and I was about to drive her to the Holy Spirit Hospital to get um, the serious emergency medical treatment. Okay, I'll stop the video there and then I'll make another brief little video.